All right, in this episode, it's the beginning of fire season. I'm opening up a road system so it could be maintained, and I end up overheating my tractor. I'll show you daily maintenance for my machine, and I'll have my uncle show us how to turn a three-axle dump truck trailer around in a super tight spot, all on Nateness TV. It's just my life. This job's been kicking my butt. I'm having to get up while well, it's still dark out so I can go mow because the fire danger is fire danger is way up. Now what I mean by fire danger is different variables such as temperature, wind, relative humidity, and fuel have aligned, raising the likelihood of a fire. Uh, there are different levels of fire danger and once the fire danger gets high enough, I'll shut down my operations because a risk is too high. In this video, the risk uh, is elevated but it's still low enough for me to be able to operate. Uh, I'll throw some links in down below, kind of showing you guys uh, definition for fire danger and the website that I use to kind of track this. So here I am getting my machine ready for the day. I've got an area cleared here where there's no brush, it's just hard rock and the rock has been wetted down. So I'm going to go ahead and sharpen my blades here and just get ready for the day. So dust and debris sticks to my Lexan windshield. This is what I use to keep all of it off. It's called Plexus. I get it right off of Amazon. I'll throw a link in below. It's a little expensive. It runs about $43 for two cans, but it's totally worth it. It's the only thing that I've found that works. For the glass, I use this gunk glass cleaner and it is pretty streak free. It's actually taken me quite a while to find products that I like for this, so hopefully it saves you some time. Dust off the grill to my radiator. Got a little hand broom that I use for that. So here's my grease gun setup. Uh, this is the only one that I've found that doesn't keep breaking on me. And I've got a quick connect end on it that is uh, easy to rebuild. All right, all ready for the day. Let's go kill some brush.
I smelt something kind of sweet, like antifreeze. I looked down, and that needle right there was all the way up over 100. Oh boy. You can't mow this hard and this thick of brush and not expect something like this. Now I gotta get things cooled down fast. Opening up the hood and letting the fan cool things off is the best way. The mesh on my hood, which allows air into the radiator, was plugged up. So by opening the hood, it's going to allow air in there to cool things off. It's a good thing that I had my nose going, because if I hadn't smelled that antifreeze right off the bat, things could have got bad real quick. So things finally cooled down enough that I could turn the machine off. So now I'm going to get out, now that the machine is off, and pull the radiator apart and clean things up. After brushing things off as best I can with my little hand broom, I'm going to start the machine up and let that blow some of the dirt out. Ideally, I would do this with the air compressor, but I don't have one all the way up here on top of the mountain. Well, after that, I decided to dial things back a little bit. I brought the RPMs down a bit and I stepped it back a few gears. Sometimes I can get a little bit crazy at work and I need to just stop and smell the roses a little bit, you know? Alright, enough rose sniffing. Once I got done with that stretch of road, I ended up running into my uncle. Now he works for the crew that's going to be coming in after me and maintaining the road. They're putting pipe in the ground to make sure that the water drains the way that it needs to. Check out how he maneuvers his truck back around that corner. Super impressive. Okay, now he's going to run his front tire up on that bank. And he's just bending that trailer right around that corner. This is impressive driving right here. You're not going to see this every day. Within inches, he knows how far he can back up before he has to go back forward again. That's what I call mountain driving right there. Not very many people know how to jackknife a trailer around a corner like that. And if you're one of them, my hat's off to you. So the reason we mow and maintain these roads is so that we have access to them in case of a fire. If a fire got out of control, it would take out towns and cities. Not to mention that they'd be totally overgrown, so we wouldn't be able to hike on them or enjoy them.
a lot different now. You can actually see the road. I think the stressful thing about mowing a road like that is having no idea of what's underneath brush. You know, if there's going to be a stop going to come up and poke a hole in your tank and run over a piece of sharp metal, cable wound up in your deck. And I've even hit engine blocks that people dropped off out there and busted uh, my blades off and it's come back at the tractor. And, you know, getting stuck. You know, a lot of times you drive into a hole and you can't get back out. Yeah, all those things are going through my mind as I'm going along this road, not being able to see anything. You know, at least we've got this road back. They can get in here and do the maintenance that they need to do to get it back into shape. Um, I'll show you what it looks like now. Well, that was a full job. I think it's going to be a little while before I mow again, just because things are really starting to get dry here. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. And to my true fans who are all subscribed and who have made it all the way through the video to this part here, go ahead and comment below, keep it cool, Nate. Why are you saying keep it cool, Nate? Well, because I overheated the tractor. If you're an Instagram or a Facebook person, I've got some links below so you can follow me there, along with links to all the different tools and products that I use to make my job easier. Hopefully it helps you guys out too. Until next time, thanks for watching Nateness TV. It's just my life.